Hello everybody, welcome to my first episode of What I Think is Bullshit. Okay, you want to know what I think is bullshit? The fact that some people, I'm talking to you, you Mario fanboys, think that Mario has a tougher job than Sonic. Call me a Sonic fanboy however you want, I don't care, I'm only proving a point. Actually, Sonic has the harder job. The reason is because... Mario, all he has to do is save Princess Peach, who gets captured in some way, usually by Bowser. Now, all he has to do is basically defeat Bowser once he gets to him. Occasionally, Bowser might be trying to take over something other than, like, just stealing the princess, such as in Mario Galaxy, where he tried to make his own planet, and he was just terrorizing other places. Well, that's the thing. All he does is terrorize other places with his stupid little, like, Koopas and all that crap like that. But basically, all Mario has to do is defeat Bowser, and after that, save Peach, and basically save anyone else who might be in trouble. And then that's it. Because Mario always finds a way how to beat Bowser. Now, tell me, does that seem challenging to you? Oh wait, that's right, I haven't told you Sonic's part yet. Now let's see, Sonic. Oh yes, you've got an evil genius who not only has an army, almost like Bowser's, but they're highly more efficient considering they're machines, but the fact that they're loaded with lethal weapons, and the fact that he's got his own egg fleet in a giant armada of ships, that could level all of Station Square. Now tell me, who's got the tougher job? Oh, but there's still more to come. Not only does Sonic have to defeat uh, Eggman, but various times an enormous creature will appear and threaten the whole planet, such as Bio-Lizard, or Chaos, or Metal Sonic, or anything else that even Sonic can't stop. Thus, calls for the Chaos Emerald to turn Sonic into Super Sonic. Now, any time Sonic is required to go supersonic just proves that if Mario was in his shoes, Mario would die. If it wasn't for the Chaos Emeralds turning Sonic into supersonic, Sonic would definitely die. I swear, I mean, these giant, enormous bosses that require supersonic are so powerful that, God, Mario's attacks would feel like little mosquito bites. If he even felt them, that is. I mean, it just proves that Sonic has a tougher job, basically because not only has he had to fight Eggman's vast armada of weapons and like armies and ships and junk, but he also usually has to fight a giant super enemy that requires a super form just to beat. That just proves that his job is much tougher. Occasionally, Eggman may steal someone, such as in Sonic 06, where he stole the princess... Mario rip up. <laughs> but yeah, um otherwise he's usually just trying to destroy everything. See, that's another reason why Sonic's job is tougher. Bowser just wants the princess. He may do a little bit of mischief by destroying things, but normally it ain't too bad. Eggman wants to just completely demolish everything. So yeah, not only does Sonic have to stop him, but he's also gotta make sure no destruction happens to the world. Ugh. Wow, Sonic's got one hell of a job. So while Mario is hunting around for the princess and stopping Bowser, Sonic's got to defeat Eggman along with any other thing that decides to rear its ugly head. So, yeah. Like I said before, if it wasn't for the seven Chaos Emeralds, Sonic would be so screwed right about now. But, uh, yeah. So, any of you Mario fanboys are watching... You should have stopped watching from the very beginning if you didn't like it. So, yeah. That's basically what I think about the whole, you know, how Mario fanboys think Mario has got a tougher job than Sonic. This just proves that he doesn't. As a matter of fact, Mario's basically got it easy. All he does is fight one enemy occasionally. No, actually, not occasionally. I should say rarely. He'll fight somebody besides Bowser. Such as in Mario Luigi Superstar Saga, where he fought Cacletta. 
Ooh, one new enemy. Wow, that's that's just incredible. Sonic's been facing new enemies basically since the whole series went 3D. And most of the time, the new enemies he's facing need a super form to defeat. And since Mario has no access to that kind of power, unless he decides to use the stars, but then they don't really change him in any way. As a matter of fact, I don't really think the stars do anything for Mario. All they do is, like, unlock something or activate something for him. They don't actually power him up. So basically, Mario's fucked if he ever has to fight somebody like Metal Sonic. I swear, just for this, they should make some sort of weird crossover game. There used to be, like, a Game Boy Advance versions of... Crash Bandicoot and Spyro levels and Spyro and Crash Bandicoot levels. They should do another crossover like that, just to prove my point. Where Mario ends up in Sonic's world and Sonic ends up in Mario's world. Then we'll see who has the tougher job. When Mario has to freaking face Metal Sonic. And he doesn't have a super form to fight him with. I swear, if Sonic ever goes up against Bowser, he'd turn him into Swiss cheese in like 5 seconds. Especially considering that he's fighting an enemy that's impossible to touch. Because he moves at like 3,000 miles per hour. Mario is just slow, but he's strong. Actually, he's ridiculously strong. How does a little plumber like him have the strength of freaking Knuckles and can grab Bowser's tail and spin him around in a 360 degree angle and then chuck him like 5 feet away? Or, wait, what am I saying? 5 feet? I mean, 30 feet. It's like, holy crap. Not only is that, like, I mean, that's just stupid. How is a little, he's just a human. It's not like he's an anthro or anything. Well, actually, that doesn't make much sense either. Anthro's having special powers somehow. It's almost like how every echidna has got super strength. Weird. Yeah, there's no explanation for it. I don't know. But yeah, like I said, they should really do a crossover where... Not that stupid Mario and Sonic at the Olympics. I'm talking about a real crossover where they switch games. Just like the Crash Bandicoot and... You know, Spyro series did where they switched them. Although, unfortunately, it was only for Game Boy Advance, so... But they should make a 3D version of this. It would be awesome. Sonic ends up collecting coins instead of rings and Mario does the same thing. Wow, that'd be really weird. Anywho, that was my little rant. Uh, yeah. Make sure that, you know, you rate it fairly. I'm sure you Mario fans are probably going to give it, like, ones. Because I know how you guys are, little fanboys. But, yeah. You know, whatever. So, yeah, this has been one of my rants. My first rant, actually. Well, actually, no, this would be my second rant. Because I did the one on the fanfic DBZ thing. But, yeah. Well, at least the first one in my bullshit series. Anywho, stay tuned for episode two. So, yeah, this has been Magnusonic 3000's What I Think is Bullshit. See ya.